Okay, we're going to do this again with sound. Um, I've got uh, your plan open in Chief X11, but uh, all your roof tools are the same in Pro, so um, I just wanted to show quickly something I did to your model. Um, I added a beam right here, and I used bigger columns. That's just personal preference. Columns, um, if you look back through architectural history, columns always land on a beam, or at least they should. Um, it, it just, I think, it looks funny if they just uh, land on the other underside of the roof on the ceiling because there's nothing visual to support the weight, even if it doesn't need to be structural. So I'm going to, I think I'm just going to hit, well, I think I'll just start over. I was going to hit undo a bunch of times, but that's slow. So I'll go over here, recent files, get your file. All right, first thing I'm going to do is turn off uh, all this grids and stuff. And I'm going to get rid of these dimensions. And then we'll take a overview. And here I'm going to switch to technical illustration. Go over here to 3D. Toggle patterns. And that just gives us a clean model to look at. And then I'm going to go over here to edit. Reset to defaults. Pick all floors. Uh, roof groups. You probably don't have any. but And then roof direct directives and walls. And this will just undo anything. Any of the settings that you've already made. And then I'll go back over here. Build roof. Turn on auto build roofs. I'm going to assume that these settings in here are all correct. The pitch, the overhangs, raise, lower, etc. Um, out of the box, Chief has these two things checked. Same roof height and allow ro low roof planes. I don't see any reason to turn those off unless you really need to for some reason. So we're going to try that and say OK. And now we've got a hip roof everywhere. So I'm just going to make this one a gable. I've got my edit toolbar. I, I drag it from down here at the bottom all the way up here to the top. Because I'm always clicking up here. I'm, it's It was always annoying to be going back and forth. So anyway, this is up here. So I'm going to set that to a gable. And go back to plan. And I'm going to go down here and select these three walls. Open them and make those um, give them a pitch of three. And say OK. That's going to be kind of nutty looking. You can see what the what the um, how big this overhang turned out to be. So I'm gonna start by going here, and I'm gonna set the upper pitch. And uh, I'm just gonna guess it may be uh, 150 inches or something. And we'll say okay. And that did move that up. So the other thing I need to do is fix that overhang. And I can do that by going back to Bill Roof. And you may can just uncheck this like you had it. Or same height eaves. And that rebuilds it back to where it was. 
So I'm just going to start right here. This is this is pretty simple, and I always encourage people to use the auto roof builder to get started. I mean, you could do your garage, and you could do this 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 uh, space back here in the back too. But we'll do those in a minute. So I'm going to go back up here to build roof, turn off auto build, and then we'll. You don't need this roof plane, so we'll delete it. Pull this one back a little bit. Come up here and grab this. Grab this one. Yep. Pull this out and snap it right there. So that gets us, you know, we're starting to, to form the basic shape. I'm going to drag this forward a little bit and do the same thing here. That's probably too far. I don't know where your wall needs to be. Your wall that's missing. The wall that fills in this space right here. You can see this triangle line that's some oddball um, thing that the program generates. And then we'll come over here. I'm going to straighten this up a little bit. Drag that back to right there. I can see that this roof plane needs to be changed a little bit. You can see how crooked that is. So I'll just drag this forward. The program will give you, it's hard to see, but the program gives you a little indicator. It's a little red X. When it gets to be where you it thinks you want it to be. And it's usually pretty accurate. So I'm going to go up to the attic. Reference display. And... Right there is the bottom roof, and right here is the top roof. So I'll pick a it's okay, and then we'll go uh, back over here, and there's our wall. I'm going to drag it all the way across. Open it and make it an attic wall. You can set this stuff down here too. I've got this. Sometimes these, these walls, that wall is in the same plane as this wall. Like if this wall right here were just extended up, sometimes they match, sometimes they don't. Um, but anyway, that's that's how you get your roof. Um, you talked about moving the roof planes, like this uh, porch roof. I can just select all three of these and you can do it a couple ways you can go up here to transform replicate and I'll move it down a foot minus 12 in the Z and that moves 
everything down a foot. I'm going to go back over here, select all three again, and I'm just going to open them. I'm going to lock the pitch. And then I'm going to add 12 to the baseline, and that just has the effect of raising them back up. Okay, so this uh, this garage, let's do it real quick. We don't need these two, so I'm going to delete those. And then you need to make these. You need to have a gable on both ends. So I'm just going to randomly stick a break right here. Hit the three on the keyboard and click right there. And drag this up somewhere. You can see the little red s snap indicator right there. And I'll drag this back on the back. Right about there. And you can see these, these ghost lines that are under here. You can see how the one in the back is, is parallel with this line here. The one in the front's not. So I'm going gonna, gonna to drag it back and I'll get another little snap indicator. And now you can see that this roof plane looks good. So we don't really need this one. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to select this roof plane, go up here, copy, reflect about, and I'm going to try to pick up the center of that garage, which I think is right there. And all that did was, was uh, reflect this roof plane around to here. And I'm going to select that edge, click 2, select this roof plane, and it'll rejoin them. Let's take a look in plan. Go back down. And you can see that roof looks okay. You can do the exact same thing back here in the back. Just delete the roof planes you don't need and move the edges of the other ones around to form. And as you noticed over here, these walls are going to walls are going to always build to a roof plane. So, for example, I'm going to lock the pitch and I'm going to raise this roof uh, 48 inches. Yep. It used to be that you could just type in 48 inches right here in older versions, and I get complacent so you have to do a plus 48 and that's what happens when I don't lock the pitch so I'm going to undo select that again lock the pitch plus 48 and you'll see how even though they don't join anymore this this wall went up automatically. So I'm just going to undo that. So there you go. Don't be afraid of, of um, moving these roofs around because that's what they do. Roofs, roofs if you're familiar with uh, like a slab, you know, you can draw a slab and then you can use the three key, for example, to put a break here. And then you can just drag this edge back. You can put a break over here and you can drag this out. You can reshape a slab just like this. There's our slab. Roof planes work the exact same way. Um, you can... I'm going to draw another slab right here. And now you can see I've got two slabs. What if I wanted those to be a single slab? I'm going to select them both and I'm going to go up to the edit toolbar. At least I think you can do this in Pro. I'm going to select polyline union. 
You better check to make sure. Uh, delete original. And now I've got two slabs. Or a single slab that's made out of two slabs. You can see there's no lines in here. Same thing works for roof planes. You can do that. Um, roof, roof planes are polyline based. So you can put a break here. Break over here. You can drag this edge up. This is how you can do dormers. If you had a second floor, you could just draw in some manual walls and put a roof on it, and you'd have a dormer. Um, if you want to build a dormer in the middle of a uh, of a roof plane, like up here, you put a skylight in, and you uncheck skylight. Now you've just got a hole in the roof. So again, you could you could put a uh, second floor. Yeah, there's your furniture down in there. You could do a second floor and uh, put some walls in here, and you'd have a dormer. So uh, if you have questions, ask.